Okay, hi everyone. Thanks for coming. Uh, my name's Nat. I am a Rahampton Abroad officer. Um, I'm part of uh, our Rahampton Abroad team, uh, who are kind of dedicated uh, to your study abroad experience and will be guiding you throughout the process. Um, I generally act as kind of the primary point of contact for students uh, from the application stage. Uh, all the way up through the pre-arrival period uh, and then once you arrive in London um, I'll be kind of on hand to give you some help and support whenever you need it um, while you're at Roehampton. So uh, thank you so much uh, for joining uh, this uh, digital open day. Um, obviously we, we normally um, around this time of year like to uh, travel to your home country to get a chance to meet you in person. Um, but even as that, even though that's not possible at the moment, we're really grateful for a chance to talk to you and let you know a bit more about our program. I'm going to be talking about our semester programs in this first talk, uh, and then you'll have an opportunity uh, to attend a Q and A uh, with some of our students um, in the next session. And then we'll also have a, a further talk on our summer program later on. Um, but I'm going to spend probably the next 20 minutes or so uh, letting you know about uh, our semester programmes at Roehampton and what they have to offer you. So these are just a few key facts uh, to start off with. Uh, so our semester programmes uh, at Roehampton are available to students in both the fall and the spring. And we also have uh, full academic year or calendar year programmes for those of you who want a, a longer stay in London. A few details about Roehampton itself. Uh, we've got a, a highly diverse undergraduate student body uh, of about seven and a half thousand. Uh, of that, around 51% identify as students of colour uh, and around 70% identify as female. Um, just an aside on that note, Whitelands College, uh, which is the oldest of our four colleges, uh, was the first higher education institution in the UK uh, to admit women when it was founded uh, in 1841. Um, so that's quite an interesting and fairly foundational part of our history. Uh, Whitelands, along with Digby Stewart, Froebel and Southlands, uh, make up the four colleges of Roehampton. Uh, of which all students are, are a member of, of a college uh, and will um, have the chance to be a part of the unique traditions and social and cultural life of their college. I'll let you know a few more details about that later on. Um, just a few details about our academic performance and recognition. Rehampton was awarded a silver in the most recent uh, teaching excellence framework, which was conducted throughout the higher education sector in the UK last year um, and that recognizes a high standard of teaching and student outcomes. All our teaching staff are also heavily involved in research uh, in their subjects uh, and that emphasis on research is something that uh, feeds into our undergraduate programs in a big way uh, as you'll all be taught by academics uh, who are actively engaged in research in their field and bringing that emerging knowledge into the classroom. And the last couple of these uh, notes on this slide uh, obviously refer to our location, uh, which I'll let you know a bit more about now. Um, so we're actually the only traditional campus university in London. Uh, we have a beautiful 54 acre Parkland campus in southwest London, uh, in one of the greenest areas of the city. Uh, some of the buildings on our campus go back as far as the 18th century. Uh, and carry some really fascinating histories and lovely architecture um, for those of you who are interested in that sort of thing. Uh, we're also right next to Richmond Park, uh, which is the largest public park in London. And we're also very near to uh, a lot of fun and vibrant areas like Putney, Clapham, Wimbledon, Tooting, uh, all very kind of unique neighbourhoods with uh, loads to explore in and of themselves. Um, but in addition to that, we're also only about 20 minutes by train uh, from the very heart of central London. Um, so as students at Roehampton, you have the, uh, this really uh, nice combination 
um, of having the benefit of a, a close knit campus community in a, a very nice green and safe environment. Uh, whilst also um, you know, having the full range of opportunities for social and cultural uh, enrichment and enjoyment that's offered by one of uh, the most famous historic and, and diverse cities in the world. So I'll just tell you a bit more specifically about the study abroad program. Um, so as I mentioned, we have programs available uh, in the fall and the spring, as well as for a full year. Um, we really aim to integrate you as much as possible uh, with our wider uh, uh, student body. Uh, so you'll both live and attend classes on campus. Uh, you'll be in classes and accommodation uh, with other UK and full degree international students. Um, and there'll be loads of other op opportunities uh, to integrate socially um, with the rest of the Roehampton student body as well. Um, Alongside that, though, we, you will have the benefit of our dedicated study abroad team uh, who will be on hand throughout your time with us. And so if there's any kind of unique issues that crop up um, that are more um, specific to the experience of being a study abroad student, uh, you do have the benefit of a kind of dedicated support team there for you. Um, I'll just let you know a little bit uh, more in detail about the academic side of things uh, at Rehampton. Um, so this is an overview of all our different academic departments at Roehampton. Um, obviously won't go through every single class that we have to offer um, here and now, uh, but please do feel free to ask any subject specific questions you might have uh, in the Q&A section, which should just appear at the bottom of your Zoom window uh, where you can pop any questions in as you think of them. Um, and then you're also uh, always welcome uh, to contact us directly uh, for more information or to request syllabi on specific classes. Uh, I'll flash up our email address at the end of this presentation uh, so you can make a note of it. Um, so while you're at Roehampton, you'll be involved in a full course load of 60 credits a semester, uh, which usually works out to about three or four classes. Um, you can pretty much take uh, your pick from the full range of our classes at Roehampton, though we obviously recommend that you make sure you get approval uh, from your academic advisors at your home institutions to make sure that your classes will transfer back uh, when you return to your home institution. Um, just as an aside, the image you're looking at right now is of our library, uh, which is a fairly new building which opened in 2017. Uh, it has 1,200 study spaces, uh, 400,000 books, as well as a huge range of digital resources and archives as well. Uh, so it's a really valuable resource and study space uh, that's very popular with our students. Um, another new addition to our campus um, as of just last spring is our media centre, uh, which is a 13 million pound development with state-of-the-art facilities for uh, film, photography, sound and image editing, animation, coding, and uh, lots more besides that. Um, if you're taking classes in things like digital media or uh, film and photography or anything like that, um, obviously you'll have the benefit of uh, developing new skills in uh, latest technology, uh, and you can obviously attempt uh, much more ambitious projects um, off the back of that, but even if you're in a different subject, these facilities are also available uh, for other students to use if you want to incorporate any kind of digital technology into your assessments or projects. Uh, another thing I want to let you know about our classes uh, is regarding our London Studies modules. Now, as I mentioned, most of the classes that we offer during the semester uh, will see you uh, integrated into classes with other students who are on uh, full degree programs at Roehampton. However, we have created a handful of classes specifically for study abroad students, and these are our London Studies classes. Um, these classes have been designed by faculty at Roehampton um, in a way that allows us to uh, kind of make use of London uh, as, a, as a learning environment. Um, so alongside in-class discussions, students uh, will go on field trips to locations around London, and this might include uh, galleries and museums, 
Uh, you might visit Roman ruins um, and some notable architectural landmarks. You might go on literary walking tours of specific London neighborhoods. Um, and these classes are a really excellent way to, I guess, kind of maximize um, and combine all the, the great academic, social and cultural benefits um, uh, that really make a study abroad uh, experience so valuable. Uh, so you'll get a chance to explore an amazing new city with a new group of classmates and friends. Um, but then you'll also get the chance to use that experience um, to gain perspectives that you can use directly in the classroom. Um, so it really kind of uh, uh, combines all the best elements uh, of the stud a study abroad experience uh, into one module. Okay, I'll move on now to let you know a bit more about our on-campus accommodation. So first off, uh, to reassure you, all students who request on-campus accommodation as part of their uh, study abroad application are guaranteed a room. Um, so that's obviously a, a, a hugely helpful thing to be able to live and study uh, in one place. Uh, and it's also usually a lot more affordable than renting privately in London, which is nice. Uh, all our bedrooms on campus are single occupancy, so you don't have to worry about sharing with a roommate. Um, you will share a flat um, of about six people usually, um, or potentially you may uh, be in a hall, kind of hallway style accommodation, um, usually about 12 people. Um, our standard accommodation will have shared bathrooms uh, that you'll share with your other flatmates. Uh, we do have a limited number of ensuite rooms uh, that have private bathrooms. Uh, and you can contact us uh, to request one uh, if that's something you think you might want to have and we'll try our best to accommodate you. Um, all our accommodation is also equipped uh, with full kitchens uh, that you'll share with your housemates. Um, and there's also a couple of very accessible local supermarkets. Uh, so it's really easy to buy your own groceries and prepare food at home. Uh, you might also find that uh, cooking group meals is a really fun way uh, to get to know your housemates as well. Um, however, um, for those of you who might be used to having a meal plan at your home institution, um, we do have that service available to you as well. Uh, so you can choose uh, to purchase uh, a meal plan that you can use to buy food from any of our on-campus food outlets, which serve hot meals, mass, uh, hot meals, sandwiches, snacks, drinks, coffee, etc. Um, the cost of a meal plan uh, is generally about £60 a week, uh, but for that you'll get £70 worth of food. So essentially a free £10 worth of food every week, which is nice. Um, however, even if you decide not to get the meal plan and you think you'd like to prepare your own food, um, you can still uh, buy food from our on-campus uh, on outlets in cash uh, whenever you need to as well. So a little bit about uh, life on campus. Um, as a study abroad student, uh, you'll um, have just as much opportunity as anyone else to engage in the uh, wide range of activities uh, that we have available on campus. Uh, there are loads of really fun and it's exciting things to get involved in that are also a really great way to meet UK and other international students as well. Um, so the Rehampton Students Union uh, has a really big role to play in campus life. Uh, it's an organisation run by students for students and it supports a whole array of different activities and societies and clubs on campus. Uh, the RSU also puts on a lot of social and cultural events, and it also runs the Union Bar, uh, which is one of the most uh, kind of popular social spaces on campus. Um, that might also be a bit of a novelty for you guys for there to be a bar on your university campus. So that's also quite exciting. Um, one of the projects that the Student Union supports uh, is something called Growhampton, which is the university's food sustainability project. Uh, it's a student-led, volunteer-based organisation that you can get involved in. Um, they have vegetable gardens and chicken coops that you can help tend. They also run a market 
and they're always looking for more people uh, to get involved uh, with volunteering. Um, other than that, though, even if you don't want to volunteer, you can just enjoy uh, the delicious food that they serve at their cafe on campus, which is called The Hive. Um, the Students Union also supports a lot of different student societies that you can join. Uh, those might include uh, cultural and religious societies. They might be based around hobbies or interests. Uh, there's stuff for campaigns and social justice. Basically, any activity that you might want to get involved in, chances are there's a society for you. Um, at the beginning of every fall semester, uh, there's a freshers fair on campus uh, where you can meet people from all the different societies and, and find a group to join. Uh, if you're coming in the spring, though, don't worry, because we also have a refreshers fair at the start of every spring semester uh, that you'll, uh, so you'll still have the chance to discover societies that you can join. You can take a walk around and all the different um, uh, organisers for each society will have a stall that you can come up and talk to them at. Um, as I mentioned earlier as well, um, when you uh, join Roehampton as a study abroad student, uh, you'll become a member of one of our four colleges, uh, which kind of each has its own uh, unique uh, traditions and social life uh, that you can get involved in. Uh, the colleges also have their own sports teams uh, that compete against each other. Uh, so you'll have a chance to represent your college uh, if you are into sports. Um, we also have a number of um, about 20 uh, non-college related sports clubs on campus uh, that you can join and they offer anything from kind of complete beginner casual level uh, to competitive uh, sports as well. Uh, we also have an on-campus gym uh, with uh, quite favourable membership rates for students um, and they often have deals going on at the start of each semester. Um, we also have esports facilities if video games are something that you're involved in as well. These opened last year and are fully open for students to use um, uh, if you're looking to play video games either casually or competitively. Okay, now of course uh, the really exciting thing about your study abroad experience is you'll be living in, um, certainly I'd say it's one of the best cities in the world, um, there's kind of so much to talk about um, in, in a short space of time um, that we have. Uh, but the great thing about London is as well as all the, the landmark locations in the center, there's loads of smaller hubs of activity spread all across the city um, that all have loads to do. Um, you know, lots of the locations that you'll be familiar with uh, are in the areas of Westminster and the city of London, where you've got your Houses of Parliament, Big Ben, Buckingham Palace, uh, all those places are really worth a visit. Um, uh, but the, the really exciting thing about London is uh, kind of diversity and variation that you'll find uh, all across uh, the different neighbourhoods. Uh, so it's really worth kind of doing a bit of exploring and um, going a little bit off the beaten track. Um, all of the team live in London. Uh, I myself grew up in southwest London, so we're always happy uh, to point you towards fun and interesting things to do in the city. Um, and I think even though London can seem like a really big and daunting place to live uh, at first, um, there's kind of so much going on that everyone tends to find a little niche uh, for themselves and find things that they can, uh, they can enjoy. Um, but if you do need a little bit of help um, uh, exploring and discovering new parts of uh, the city and of the UK generally, uh, we have created a social program. It's an optional package just for study abroad students uh, that will give you the chance to see a lot of famous landmarks. Uh, you might watch a West End show, uh, you might visit a towns and cities outside of London like Oxford or Windsor. Uh, you might take a trip to Stonehenge as you can see in the bottom corner of your screen. Um, and so it's a really fun way to, to explore a new city and a new country at large uh, with a new group of friends who are kind of all in the same boat as you in, in terms of being in a, in a very new place. Uh, you can purchase the program through our online store, um, but it may actually already be included in the program fee that you pay to your home institution. Uh, so make sure you check before you purchase. Um, the cost of the program also includes a fully qualified guide uh, who will take you around all these locations 
and where trips are going outside of London, uh, the cost of travel will also be included in the price of the programme. Okay. So a couple notes about the support services uh, we have available at Roehampton. As I said, the Roehampton Abroad team is available to you throughout your time in London to provide uh, support and guidance on, on any issues you might encounter. We run drop-in services uh, on a regular basis where you can ask us anything at all. Um, and you can also always contact us by email as well. But you'll also have access to a number of other support services at Roehampton. Our wellbeing team has staff members uh, based in all of our four colleges, uh, and they can offer confidential advice and support uh, on any kind of student welfare issues. Um, our disabilities team um, can uh, provide support and organize any relevant accommodations uh, for any disabilities or health conditions that might uh, impact your academic or personal experience at Roehampton. Uh, you can declare a disability with us in advance uh, in uh, your application uh, and we'll automatically make sure you have the support in place you need before you arrive. Um, we also have a 24 hour security team that can respond to any kind of safety concern uh, while you're on campus any time of the day or night. Uh, there's also a medical center on campus that you can attend for a lot of routine health needs uh, or if necessary, they can also refer you to an off-campus service. Um, obviously, if you're uh, a, a non-UK or non-EU citizen, uh, you may have to make a claim for some treatments on your insurance, but the medical centre can always advise you on what those may be. Um, another uh, nice thing about the UK is all emergency medical treatment is free, so you never have to worry about kind of unexpected bills on that front. Um, uh, a very brief note as well, uh, where necessary, the university can also assist students in obtaining a test for COVID-19. And we've also been successfully supporting students who are currently having to self-isolate on campus. Um, we'll communicate more details of exactly what provisions will be in place on that topic uh, closer to your arrival uh, as the situation develops. As for a lot of you, it's, it's quite a long way in the distance now. Um, to be kind of be speculating at this point about what those provisions would be. Um, but we'll be sure to keep you uh, informed on that subject. Okay, and when it does finally come time for you to arrive, we'll have an action pack orientation program uh, that will feature all the support uh, information and excitement that you'll need uh, and uh, to start your, your adventure in London. Uh, we'll be in regular contact um, up until your arrival. Uh, we'll kind of be sending you key bits of information uh, in the weeks before your arrival, um, spaced out so that you don't get too overwhelmed. Uh, we run an airport pickup service from London Heathrow, uh, where you'll be greeted by Roehampton staff and student ambassadors in the arrivals hall. And we'll then direct you uh, to a bus to campus where the rest of the team will be waiting uh, to greet you and get you checked into your accommodation. And then that evening we'll be holding a welcome meal on campus to celebrate your arrival. Um, and then you'll have a chance to get some rest uh, ahead of uh, orientation, which will start the next day. Uh, that will include uh, some information sessions on things like campus life, your classes, uh, exploring London, some tips on, on uh, what places to visit, um, your safety, things like that, uh, and much, and it will also give you a chance to ask any questions. Uh, you'll also join a campus tour with one of our student ambassadors, um, and you'll get uh, complete your student registration and receive uh, your official Roehampton student ID. Uh, at the end of orientation, um, we'll also have our photo frenzy challenge, um, which is kind of a photographic scavenger hunt. Um, that's a bit of a fun excuse for you to go out and explore London and we'll give you some clues uh, to track down some famous landmarks and take a picture. Okay, um, so in terms of applications, our application system is completely online. Uh, we've opened applications for spring 2021 uh, and for also fall 2021 as well. Um, 
we've got the application deadlines uh, for both uh, those intakes on your screens now. Um, so our threshold for entry is a GPA of at least 2.8. We can sometimes accept evidence for mitigating circumstances if you do have a lower GPA. Um, that will be kind of determined on a case by case basis. So you should definitely contact us if you have any questions. Um, and broadly, uh, more broadly speaking, students uh, or their advisors can contact us at any time uh, throughout the application process uh, for support. Um, we'll also need to see, as I said, a copy of your most recent transcript and GPA and also a personal statement. And um, that will give you a chance to talk about uh, your reasons for wanting to study abroad in London. Okay, that is everything uh, that we need to go over now. Um, I've uh, put some contact details for our team up on your screens now. Um, we do have the Q&A section open if any of you want to pose any questions. Uh, and then also in a couple of minutes, our uh, uh, next webinar is going to be starting, which will be a Q&A session um, with some of our current Roehampton students. Um, so do please uh, send in any questions if you have them. Uh, but other than that, thank you so much for listening and we're really looking forward to seeing you in London in the future.